Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd like to help support the show, it is Cash App, dollar sign American Doofus, all one word, A M E R I C A N D U F U S. If you'd like to email the show, the best way to contact me is American Doofus, once again, all one word, at gmail.com. The Supreme Commander of the NFAC, Grandmaster J, also known as John Fitzgerald Johnson, is expected to be in court this coming week. We here at the American Doofus Show have been documenting the NFAC and the rise of Grandmaster J since the beginning of um, our awareness of the NFAC, which took place with the first formation in uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia on July 4th of 2020. We now, uh, with the upcoming court date, will take a look at, at, at a report from a local TV station in Louisville, WAVE, and uh, here is that report. Self-proclaimed militia who marched with armed followers down the streets of Louisville. In the next couple of days, Grandmaster Jay will face two judges in both state and federal court, but his stint in Louisville alone didn't tell us much about the Grandmaster, so... Wave 3 News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez took a look to find out in her latest investigation. She joins us now live from the courthouse. Once again, this is a local investigative reporter from Louisville, Kentucky. The opinions and, uh, as always, the uh, attitudes and uh, comments of uh, individuals shown on the show are not necessarily those of the, those of the show. However, uh, as always... We don't tell you what to think or how to think. We just give you things to think about. Let's listen to the report. Grandmaster is expected here at the courthouse for those state charges tomorrow, and then he'll face a federal judge on Monday. But who is Grandmaster? Once again, uh, this was recorded last week, apparently, as um, the hearing on the 20th was uh, postponed to the 26th. Here's what we found. Do you know me? Well, if you don't, you're about to. From DJ to YouTube blogger, and later, the leader of the self-proclaimed militia group, the NFAC, the many faces of the grandiose Grandmaster J. We are, we are going to burn this mother down. Leading armed we protests in cities across America, including Louisville. So no, I don't expect to come anywhere to get arrested for anything because I don't break the law. The FBI disagreed. Arresting Grandmaster Jay or John Fitzgerald Johnson for this. Cameras catching him pointing an AR rifle at agents and police on a rooftop downtown. This exclusive video of the moments directly after. He'll now face a federal and state judge on felonies in the upcoming days. Now you gotta go into the toolbox and take out something a lot stronger. The FBI, though, is still investigating for something we found buried in his military records, too. Discharged from the Army not once, but twice, Johnson had somehow managed to re-enlist despite the first other-than-honorable discharge. We got his records straight from the Army, along with his numerous military arrests. The first... In March 1995, accused of punching a woman in the face with a closed fist before pulling out a shotgun from his trunk and threatening to kill the security guards who kicked him out of a club. In May 1999, another arrest charged with impersonating an officer. July 1999, he's accused of altering official military documents to get promoted. Johnson agrees to an other-than-honorable discharge to avoid trial by court-martial. But in August 2003, we found more military documents despite his first departure, with another arrest citation stating he threatened to kill his partner and her platoon sergeant with a semi-automatic Bushmaster. In 2005, Johnson again bargains with the Army for a second other-than-honorable discharge to avoid court. Do you know me? Well, if you don't, you're about to. Seven years later, Grandmaster J is born, a term reserved as an honor in the DJing world, except there was one problem. 
he wasn't really known in the industry. We found numerous posts, DJs calling him a fraud, especially when the Grammy award-winning DJ Jazzy Jeff accused Grandmaster Jay of trying to pass his music as his own in an ad, posting on Instagram, quote, I don't care if you're the worst DJ in the world. I'll give you credit. Just don't fake it, Jazzy Jeff wrote. I don't know who the you are, but you about to get shot. Fast forward another seven years, Johnson reinvents himself yet again, this time as a militia leader, keeping the military gear and the brand master name, remnants of the two other chapters in his life. In 2016, Grandmaster Jay, or Johnson, also ran for U.S. president. The FBI is still investigating how he was able to re-enlist in the military. I did call Johnson for this story. He never called me back. Natalia Martinez, Wave 3 News. There you go. A look at a local report from WAVE wave in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We will keep our eyes on the upcoming court cases for Grandmaster Jay, as, uh, as expected. We're also going to keep our eyes on everything else going on uh, in our country and around the world. It's what we do. It's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And uh, if you'd like to help support the show, you can do so through the cash app at dollar sign American Doofus, all one word. Or uh, if you'd like to contact, it's uh, American Doofus at gmail.com. Once again, Grandmaster Jay coming into court in Louisville this coming week and uh, a look at what the local news is saying. As always, just giving you something to think about. It's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Until next time. Thank you for watching.